using layers to mass distracting elements is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone, welcome back. Now for this image here, what I wanna do is show you how to use Luminar 4 or any uh, programs that have masking capabilities to duplicate the layer, bring it to the next one, and then use these masking tools to remove some of the distracting elements. So the distracting elements in this scene right here is his big brother in the background here and some of this stuff down here. So we want to get rid of that. And in doing that, it's going to draw more attention to the baby. Now I'm using Luminar 4 right now. Luminar Neo, the masking capabilities, they're not complete yet. Once they are, you'll be able to do all of this inside Luminar Neo. So here we are. The first step I have to do is I want to create a stamp layer. Now what a stamp layer is going to be is a layer that's copying the bottom one, whichever layer I chose. And then what it's going to do is move it to the next level or up on top, but it's completely independent from the layer below. So I can make changes to this all day and it's not going to affect the layer below it. So that's where the masking capabilities come in. So now that I have this here, let's transform the layer. And what I need to do is flip it. So this side here is really good. We'll use this side to remove distracting elements on this side. So I flip it, there it is. And select done. So now that we have that set, now comes the fun part with the masking. So I'm gonna edit the mask, and I'll use a brush tool, and I wanna make sure I'm painting at 100% opacity, and I wanna paint the effect in, not erase it. Then the moment I add it, look what it did. It, it, it hid everything on that layer except what I'm painting in. So now you just have to be careful. So this is no big deal. This part here is easy, but keep in mind, his head is somewhere. Look, it's right about here. So I have to make sure I stay away from this area. Now I'm gonna press the X key. And what that's gonna do is I'm gonna sw that switches over to erase. And I'm gonna erase that back out of the scene. There we go. And I'll come back in. Oh, now I'm gonna paint it back in now. And let's just get rid of some of this here. I'm going to make the brush smaller because I know I'm getting close to the original. There we go. And let's see how far I can go before I hit the bottom image. Right about, oh, there it is. X again. I'm going to paint that back in. And there we go. Now that little piece right here, if it's bothering us, I can either duplicate the layer again, or at that point, I'll use the clone tool, all right? Because that's such a small piece that the, the, the clone and stamp tool work, work perfect with it. The other side was just way too big. So it would take a long time to clone that other section out. So let's just do a little quality control to make sure. Yep, I'm gonna paint back in. Right over here, let's get rid of some of this. And keep in mind, I could take the opacity and change the opacity to I have a mixture of that background layer along with the current layer here. So it's not, you know, masking it out 100%. There we go. And that looks good, just like that. Now here's the thing, this layer is in combination with this layer. If I were to apply any effects onto this layer, it'll only affect that little section. So now I need to create another stamp layer. And now what it's doing here is it's merging that top layer we just created and the bottom layer. Because like I said, if we didn't do that, it's recognizing just that little strip on that layer. So any changes I would have applied would have been just to that little strip. So here we are now, this looks, looks, looks really good. 
Let's do Dreamy Portrait. Oh, I like how that looks. And then we can continue. If I come over here with some of the tools, let's put a vignette in here. I'll choose the subject. Oh, look at that. Open it right about here. Just enough to make it to draw attention to the baby. And there we have it. All right. And now again, it's on its own separate layer. So at this point, like I said, we could use the clone and stamp tool if, if I really, really, really wanted to get rid of that piece right there, I can get rid of it, but it's not bothering me. So this looks good as is. All right. So just to recap, again, we copied a piece of the image. We flipped it and then used that piece to hide the distracting elements. Now in Luminar 4, we have to make sure we created a stamp layer so, it's, so, the lay, so the image is all independent on its own. Make our changes to that image. And then the secret is to create another stamp layer, combining the bottom one and now our newly edited one. And at that point, we can apply anything we want to that and it'll appear as one. So, well guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next coffee break. <laughs>